Eat, drink, and be merry. Isn't that what we say? That's the tagline <laughs> for the holidays. But it can be stressful to figure out the perfect bottle to have or, you know, the, the right wine and food pairings at the table over the holidays. Absolutely, but we are making that easy for you this morning. So joining us in the studio, the owner of Mark Ryan Winery, we have Mark McNeely here and we have Chef Bobby Moore and of course known for the Bobby Moore restaurants, uh, Bar Moore and Bees on Main. So thank you both for being nice. here. Thank you for having <laughs> us here. So of course, no matter whether we're gifting or dining, food and wine, great options. What is your favorite wine for the holiday season? I, I love Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. At Mark Ryan, we have a wine called Dead Horse, which may be my favorite wine. But the great thing about the holidays, if you like the wine, it's probably going to pair with the food that you like as well. There are some do's and don'ts, but kind of what, kind of what, what, what are the do's and don'ts? Cabernet and oysters. Never do it. Right. Oh, okay. So that's, Is that, that right? Yeah, that's, <laughs> but everything else kind of works. Okay. All so. right, and so what about like an easy drink in everyday wine? If you're going to go into your cellar and grab a bottle, what, what's kind of the go-to? Well, we have, at Mark Ryan, we have five labels under our umbrella, so we cover a lot of different price points and styles. So I really think our Monkey Wrench wine is fantastic. We've got a wine called Board Track Racer Cabernet, which is very good. And what we're looking at here is a 12-pack that we put together for the winery that would probably cover all of your holiday needs. So oh, that's it's a nice way to kind of pair up whatever you're serving with some different wines from Mark Ryan, Board Track Racer, Flowerhead, Underground. There's a lot of them. All right. Well, that's Chef cool. Moore, though, if we are planning something festive like a meal, whether it's for a small group or a party, what do you like? Well, right now, I'm just so excited about fall and the holidays coming up. Um, and this is a dish that actually Mark and I have made together many, oh, many times. Um, and this is a duck confit uh, bread pudding um, that you can have during the holidays. You can have it for Thanksgiving. You can do it uh, right around Christmas time as well. Awesome. So, so, uh, so is this savory then? It is yeah. a savory, okay. but yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. Sure. So tell us a little bit about what you have going on here. Okay, we have a little bit of potato bread. We have some duck confit. Um, the recipe will be available on your on your website. Mm -hmm. um, so we confit the duck. Um, we have some fresh herbs. We're going to do a little uh, whipped egg and cream. Mix it all together. I have some chanterelles here because you can just throw chanter you can Chanterelles make everything better. I do. So, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And these are the ingredients for for the dish, correct? Right, correct, awesome. yeah. Awesome. So does it take a, a good amount of time to make? No, it's really oh. easy. I, this is the longest, you know, this takes yeah. the longest, but it's in the oven while you're doing all this other prep. This can be in the oven uh, cooking for you. And I think there's something, as someone who does not cook and loves a bottle of wine, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's so nice to, like, take the time to make something or to show somebody that you've thought about them when you're picking out, you know, a selection, a bottle. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. Yeah. All right. So what can we try, guys? Because that's what we're sure. all about. Go ahead, Mark. So we have, we've, we've curated four recipes. Bobby has one. I like to cook as well, so I have one. Ethan Stoll provided a recipe, and Dylan from the Barking Frog. Wow, a good so, all-star lineup here. It's, it's a great lineup. So while Bobby's cooking, I'll tell you about my dish. Okay. Yes. Um, this is butternut squash and sausage pappardelle. So here's all the ingredients, a little bit of um, um, celery, onion, sausage, and butternut squash. Really what makes this dish is the fresh bay leaf. Okay. Dried bay leaf won't work, but the fresh bay leaf just gives it this incredible aroma. And so I just tossed it with some pappardelle, and there it is. So it's really that simple. Excellent. And you got to love the fresh grated cheese there. That always makes Absolutely. it pop. Absolutely. A little the, drizzle the, of olive oil. The bay leaves, the fresh bay leaves, is that just available at the grocery store? Because I've always seen it dry. Yeah, so you can add, add where all those little boxes of fresh herbs are, you can okay. find those. Net market and Whole Foods. And what would be a great wine pairing for that? I, I, again, I really like our, our Dead Horse Cabernet, so kind of a full-bodied Cabernet. And we, also, Viognier could be good, kind of a nice textured white wine. Mm. Excellent. And you were showing us some of your favorites. You have to tell us about the wine named after your daughters. We, yeah. I, I, I said I would never do this, but now I, I have, a, uh, I have a, a line called Lou and Oli. So these are named after my daughters, Lucia and Olivia. And I, I found a great local artist named Kyler Martz who did some labels for us. So. This is some sparkling Chardonnay that we did under their label. 
Um, it's, I think we're going to try that one today. Maybe we should try it right now. Excellent. Oh, well, 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 if you say so, you know. You know. And right now, while we're doing that, let's check in over here with the chef. What are you working on right now? I feel like I'm in a competition right now. Yes. Okay. Bobby, so three minutes. we've got <sighs> eggs and cream whipped up. Okay. We have a little salt and pepper. We have some fresh herbs. We're using thyme, some Italian parsley, and some chive. Just putting that all in there, whipping that up. We have some potato bread. You can get this at any of your grocery stores. Um, this is potato bread. Um, Mark and I around it in there. Yeah, just throw it all in there. And around the holidays, Mark and I, like the day before Thanksgiving, we'll cruise around through Met Market or, or our local grocery store. Um, we'll ha I'll have like a pack of these recipes because, of course, this guy knows everybody everywhere we go. <laughs> so we'll, he'll introduce me to people, and I'll just hand out recipes, and then we cook this oh, up. That's it's so, so great. Cool. Yeah. So we just <laughs> fold all this together and um, uh, pop it into a little pan. Um, you can use like a nine by nine or something like that at home, okay. but I use this little. You get like the little say, cutie like a, things, yeah. yeah. So it cooks uh, 350 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes, um, and then you can serve that up with you know a little cranberry chutney or, or something like that. And I love how fast it is, but it, I mean it looks very fancy, you know. So you want to impress some people. That's how you do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, this dish to me tastes like the holidays in one bite. It does. It really takes care of yeah. everything. And this, I don't know if, if, you're, oh. if you're able to do this or not, yes. but. I thought we can't really cook right without here. having oh, a little glass right. of this. Exactly. So maybe a, a, a little oh, cheers. Oh, cheers to the holidays. Like cheers to the holidays. <laughs> okay. That's good. Hit me over here. Excellent. I see you. I appreciate you. I acknowledge you. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, so this wow. is just sparkling Chardonnay. It's mm -hmm. just, it's, a oh, little it's bubble for the yeah. holidays. A little, yeah. a little bubble. Yep. Yeah. It's not overwhelming. It's not overwhelming, but it's got that great Chardonnay fruit yeah. and, and richness and mm -hmm. great acidity and minerality that you expect to find in Washington wines. And so, Bobby, for that little treasure there, what would you recommend uh, preparing? Oh, yeah. The uh, Boar Track Racer all the way. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Or Sauvignon, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. um, and then also Flower Head is a, a great one. So... Yeah. Always good. And and when it comes to food and wine pairings, this guy, he's a champion. Oh, yeah. No, we true. have history. We have history. Well, the, the, la the last time we worked together, I was a judge at a food and wine pairing competition with all-star chefs from around the town. You talk about a great gig. But Bobby came out on top in that one. That was we, fantastic. We had some fun on that. Yeah. That was yes. great. And we were on the beach. Yeah. Pretty good. Champion. He did champion. it. <laughs> champion. I know. And we need a, a gold belt. I know. Too. Hold it. <laughs> Come and take this. And Mark McBeal of the defending wine champion. There, so good to you. have yes. you both it's here great today. To, great to be here. We appreciate so. it. So cheers. Cheers, cheers everybody. To, to the holidays. holidays. Happy holidays. Cheers. Oh, cheers. You better believe that. <laughs> All right. More to come here on Good Day Seattle when we come back. Oh, to weather. Oh, we're going to.